Hi everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be spilling the tea on what it's like to live a day in Twin Flames universe. So, first of all, I am not oblivious. I don't live under a rock. I have seen the controversy, you know, surrounding our community right now and I have compassion for all of those involved in spreading the misinformation and the really misconstrued allegations against you know, myself, my friends, my gurus, my community. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate to to know that people have that people may have like a bad taste in their mouth about us. And I'm here to just talk about that with you guys and open the door to questions and really go over what my life has been like day to day and a normal day in my life as a part of this wonderful divine community of Twin Flames Universe. First of all, my experience with this community for the past year and a half has been absolutely incredible, out of this world, divine, heavenly, in every single sense of the word. There is no question in my mind that I've found a place that supports me, that loves me unconditionally, and that is you know, aligned with the truth that I have found in my heart of, you know, what God really wants for us, all of his children, what God wants for the world and how God desires for us to ascend and bring heaven to earth. It's really, really that simple. It's not what the media wants you to believe, which is lies. You know, the, the media is, is very afraid. They want to keep you in a state of fear so that you will click on their stories, so that you will buy their magazines, so that you will watch their crappy documentaries. They want to take from you. They want to take your essence. They want to take your light and have you believe that love isn't real, that light isn't real, that God isn't real. And yeah, and that's really the ego. It's the ego. It's the illusion of separation. They want to perpetuate it for as long as possible. And that is what Twin Flames Universe is standing up against. We are standing up against the ego, standing up against fear and proving again and again and again with every single success story that love is real and that everyone on this planet deserves love. So if you would like to read my full story in depth, you can go to TwinFlamesUniverse.com and check out my and Dylan's union section on the Twin Flame Unions page. We'll also have a full testimonial section up on the page today. Um, why, by the time you're watching this video, it'll be up there. So you can go check out all the testimonials from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that this community has supported, helped, and really provided divine guidance and love to. So yeah, we really outnumber the handful of disgruntled students that weren't willing to continue on their spiritual paths in this way, and that's okay. We respect and we honor their choices. We, you know, we have zero, zero care about who comes, who goes. We all know it's part of God's divine plan. For those who stay, wonderful. For those who leave, wonderful. God bless you. We bless you on your way out. Um, it's not a decision I would ever make once you've found um, the path home to heaven on earth, to your divine lover, to all of your dreams coming true in a logical, scientific, spiritual, psychologically incredible way. Like, why would you leave? But yeah, it's, it's okay. Everyone's on their own journey and there's no hard feelings about it. Like it's it's all good. But yeah, here's me telling my story, what my daily life is like, because yeah, I mean, I deserve to share my voice as well so that everyone can have, make their own decisions, you know? Make your own decision about what you've seen versus what you believe the group to be, you know? Like when you actually connect with someone in um, the spiritual community and just like just like me, like you found this video for a reason, you know, you can clearly see I'm very grounded. I'm a peaceful person. I'm someone of love. I'm someone that has been on the spiritual journey all of my life, but really like two, no, three, four years ago now is when my journey really kicked off. And, you know, I began following my heart completely and meditating and doing yoga and became a vegetarian and, you know, trying plant medicines and going to a healing trauma retreat. You know, I did all of that stuff for therapy like I did it all because you know throughout my life I've struggled with anxiety OCD um, ADHD and I really wanted a way to love myself to heal myself like I knew in my heart that I would be able to heal myself even since I was a kid but I just had never gotten around to doing it like I had to go to college like I had to do get a job you know I had all of these things I had to do before I could heal and then one day you know 
I, you know, prayed to God to show me what true love was and to help me. And then from there, my journey catapulted and I took off and began healing and loving myself and doing all that great stuff. And that's what brought me to find Twin Flames Universe. I'd made a pact with myself that I would never be in a relationship with anyone else unless it was the one God created me to be with. And this was before I even knew what Twin Flames were. This was after Dark Nights of the Soul, after really exploring the United States for six months and just traveling and being a little gypsy girl and, you know, like following my heart wherever God led me and journaling and, you know, waking up at 5 a.m. and walking to the beach in Venice, California and sitting on the ocean and shoreline and doing yoga and journaling and just connecting with myself. Like I was doing everything I could do to really discover God. And like I said, that's what led me to Two One Flames Universe. Shortly after I found the teachings of Union, I met my twin flame. Met, we already knew each other for, we grew up together, me and Dylan. We, you know, went to the same high school, college. You can read more about my story or learn more about my story in the video called My Twin Flame Story on this channel. This is a very long intro, so thank you guys for bearing with me. I just felt like I had a lot to kind of say before I get into like my day to day, but we'll get into it right now. My day to day with Twin Flames Universe, I'll just, tell you how I began today and what today is like for me. This is a normal, normal day and I wake up, I will come into my office and do yoga. Um, I have my yoga set up right over here. I will do a short meditation and then I will usually, if I'm gonna be filming or if I'm gonna be you know, in meetings, you know, I'll do some makeup and hair and stuff, which I did today. So that's what I did after I did my yoga and meditation. I did my hair, makeup, got ready. Oh, but before that I made my coffee made my smoothie, and then I walked into Dylan's office where I have my little vanity, and I got ready. And then from there, I'll come in. I'll come back into my office, open up my planner, I'll write down my gratitudes, I'll write down you know, what I'm gonna do that day, what I have to do that day, I'll write down what I'm grateful for, I'll write down what will make today great. I have this planner, it's called the Best Self Planner. I really like it. And then sometimes I'll journal, sometimes I'll do some mirror exercises, sometimes I'll read A Course in Miracles, sometimes I'll pull oracle cards. I pulled an oracle card just before this video and yeah, I just kind of go with the flow of whatever God is asking me to do. Oh, and I also, while I was getting ready and doing my makeup, I was listening to Twin Flame Ascension School. I like to do that while I get ready, just to like, as I start my day, be grounded in, yeah, God's divine truth and God's divine love, you know, the classes really support me and my ascension and my awakening and they share with me. Really, they've answered every single question that I've ever had in my heart, like tough questions and They've answered them with unconditional truth. Like they use a sword and just cut to the truth. And it is so incredible. It's like the highest form of like truth that we have on this planet in like a video form. And there's over like 150 classes. Like each of one is an hour and a half. Like the deal that you get, and I'm trust me, I'm not selling this to you guys. I'm just telling you like how misconstrued it was in like the documentaries. But what you get from these teachings is more than any other twin flame program or teacher out there on the planet, like at all. Like I think there's twin flame teachers that sell like five hundred dollar courses and you get like two hours of content or you know, something like that. Like I remember before I found TFU, I was paying $250 for like an hour session with a twin flame teacher who was literally t teaching nonsense, like telling me what vitamins to take to be with my twin flame. Like it was just bizarre. But yeah, this stuff is like grounded stuff. Like it's to the point, it addresses every single thing like you could ever imagine wondering. Like it gets to it throughout the, of course, like 150 classes. and. Yeah, it's incredible. I've listened to all of them at least once. I'm in like my second round of listening to them and it's it's just nice. Like I've always been someone who's enjoyed listening to podcasts like nonstop. Like I'll always have something in my ear. Um, I don't do that always now, but if it is something, I'm listening to this because it's, you know, it goes above and beyond any podcast I've ever listened to. You know, it goes above and beyond any content I've ever consumed because it's it's safe, it's peaceful, it's grounded, it's logical, it's... It helps me to heal myself. And it, it it provides me, like, I get to see coaching in real time. Like Jeff and Shalia, they coach people in real time and I get to see that and experience that healing for whatever block that student's moving through with them. So yeah, I love the classes. And then from there, you know, once I get ready and everything, like I said, I come in here, do my journaling, do my day planning, and then I usually get into work. And so I'll get into work 
Um, I usually have a couple meetings every day. I am in marketing. I work remotely and so my office and my yoga studio and my filming is all in one place right now. But yeah, I'll get into work. I'll work eight to five. And I really like my job. It's it's great. It really supports me. I love it. Um, I get to work with clients and help with marketing strategies. And yeah, it's really fun. And then usually I'll be like, I'll go in the open forum throughout the day, Facebook open forum. Just check out some Facebook posts. Make a Facebook post if I'm called to um, share something that, you know, I feel God is calling me to share that day about Twin Flames, about Ascension, about healing. I will post one post on Instagram just to kind of Get our pay we're working on our page right now because we're going to be launching our ascension coaching business um at the end of this year or early next year so i'll post a you know photo on instagram about twin flames and some you know a tip or a quote or something and yeah that's been really in development so you can follow us at dylan is hannah sometimes i'll take a break and film a tiktok video while we're on the same same app for everything it's always dylan is hannah um which i think is super cute <laughs> Yeah, if anything's you know upsetting me throughout the day, if I get like annoyed about something or upset, I'll just pull out my notebook and write out the mirror exercise, which we have a video on that if you wanna check it out. It's the tool we use to heal ourselves, to send and come closer to our divine self and God. So yeah, if I'm just, if I get upset about something, I will, you know, do a mirror exercise and love myself in that upset part. So I'm, I feel better, it's great. And then, yeah, oh yeah, I'll eat lunch throughout the day too or have a, some snacks and then um, from there. And then I really like going on walks. Um, it's a little cold out right now, so I've kind of been taking a break from my walks, but normally I'll go for a like two mile walk, mile and a half walk every single day, which I, I love. Yeah, and then once the day wraps up, cool, calms down, you know, I'll finish up work for the day. We'll make dinner, Dylan and I will eat dinner and then we'll chill out. I'll take a shower, I'll take a bath. I, I love baths. I take lots of baths. I will sometimes we'll have a ascension coaching session. We had ours yesterday on Monday, which is really supportive. It's like, you know, I was doing therapy before I found TFU. Like every week I would do an hour of therapy, and so now it's just an hour of ascension coaching, which is the next level beyond therapy, really. And then we will sometimes watch Netflix, watch a movie. We just finished Stranger Things, which was really good. I had never seen it before. Um, but yeah, like we'll chill out, watch a movie, relax, and then oh, and recently actually. This has been like a new thing to our routine. We've been house hunting because we were just pre-approved to buy a home. So we've been house hunting and we are we just made an offer and they countered and literally as I'm filming this, we are waiting to hear back on if they accepted our counter offer. So fingers crossed, we'll see. If they do, you know, I'll make a whole video on my house buying journey, our house buying journey, and share with you guys what we've learned and everything. And also we'll make videos on like, you know, remodeling it and everything, because we're gonna remodel like the whole thing if we get this house. So yeah, but you know, we're surrendered to it wherever we end up, you know, it's, it's all good. What else? Yeah, that's kind of like my day, you know? It's, it's pretty chill, it's pretty relaxed. It's just like with God, like that's it. That's the only, like, I'm just with God all day, like, you know, like, nonstop, 24-7, like, always just with God. Sometimes I'll take a short nap in the afternoon um, and meditate, but, yeah, it's just a really relaxed, peaceful, wonderful life, and I get to live it with my twin flame. He works remotely usually. Sometimes he has to go in for shoots or something like that. He's in video production. He's a video producer. Yeah, he's out climbing right now at the climbing gym. We just went climbing over the weekend, which was really fun. And just had like a day in Detroit where we like went to like all these little shops and like thrift shops and like crystal shops and like, you know, fun stuff like that. And got this amazing coffee from this Greek place called like Anzino's greek and coffee or something it was so good yeah we like to like do stuff on saturdays and then sundays we kind of chill slash work a little bit yeah um up until last week i was also watching the ascension coaching program training videos but i just finished up phase one i'm moving into phase two and then from there i will be in phase three where yeah i'll be moving into seeing clients within the next couple months so if you guys are interested in taking your journey to the next level i would love to support you on it but yeah that's me that's who i am i'm i'm a very normal grounded person like i said i love my twin flame i love myself i love god and i love twin flames universe and this community everyone here is so divine i love being a part of it yeah oh and also what else i do is i volunteer for tfu and so what i my volunteer is like i lead the newsletter team so i support the newsletter writer and the newsletter editor 
um, in our weekly newsletter. So that's part of my day to day sometimes. And then I also film TikTok videos for our TikTok account. So Dylan and I film like four videos a week and it's really fun and you know, it's great to partner with him in that way. And then once a month, we're also in after church tea time where we talk with other people about the sermon for that week and you know, what our insights were from it, what we want to, what we feel God's calling us to talk about that day, which is really nice because yeah, it's just like getting to connect with people that are just like us and like-minded and you know, interested in ascension and being with God and their twin flame, which is literally all this community is about. And so I hope you noticed how I didn't really talk about any of the actual allegations because, you know, they're really no basis for it whatsoever. It's, it's a lot of angry, angry and really hurt people looking to project their pain onto others, onto a divine community that is built and founded on unconditional love and yeah and like I said at the beginning I have a lot of compassion for them and everyone's journey is different you know some people I guess aren't ready to make the choice for love over fear like they want to live in fear still and continue to believe that love isn't real and you know like I have compassion for that and I'm gonna keep using my voice I'm gonna keep sharing videos I'm gonna keep you know, doing readings. I'm gonna keep supporting you on your Twin Flame Ascension journey, on your Ascension journey, and on your journey of love and coming into union with God and with all of yourself because, you know, that's what we're all really after. That's what we're all here to do, is to merge the gap between heaven and earth and to bring it here permanently. And, you know, this is really the prophesized second coming. You know, this is truly Jesus Christ consciousness coming back in all of us through our ascension. Like what I learned on my spiritual journey is that, you know, I grew up Catholic and I always believed in the second coming and I knew it was gonna happen in my lifetime. Like in my heart, I felt like it would. As I learned, like in grew, as I grew my spiritual journey, like I realized that, you know, God, that Jesus is not coming back as a physical being like, oh, down from heaven to raise us up. Like he's coming back through us through our consciousness and through those who choose to receive him. I choose to receive Christ. I choose to receive Christ's consciousness within me to embody it and to allow God to purify my soul and my being into perfect alignment with his divine image for me. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. I invite you to like it if you enjoyed it. Let me know any questions that you have in the comments. I am open to some constructive conversation and I really appreciate you taking the time to to hear my story to hear my day-to-day -to, -day, to hear what it's like you know um being with being in Twin Flames universe it's it's heavenly it's divine it's heaven on freaking earth and I get to do it with my twin flame and there is nothing in this world that could top that like literally nothing so yeah I uh, will see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.